Another little quick update of what we've kind of been talking about this week. Ravens wide receiver Rashad Bateman. We're expecting him to really kind of be a huge piece offensively for this Ravens team in terms of the deep ball and just overall real solid production for wide receivers. So we can expel this narrative of, you know, Lamar Jackson just being a running back. It's a little, it's honestly disrespectful and not the good type of disrespect. The respectful disrespect. I disrespect you respectfully. 21 Savage, folks, we will bring that up all the time. Um, you know, saying Lamar Jackson is a running back, that's disrespect, disrespectful, folks. So we don't like that talk. Um, and we want to just have Lamar Jackson, you know, prove everybody everybody that says that. I don't know if, if tr people truly believe that or they're just trolling, whatever it is. It's still disrespectful, however you're trying to do it. Uh, so hopefully Lamar Jackson can kind of dispel that lame narrative that's floating around all over the place. But we need Rashad Bateman out there for the Ravens to help do that and for have this Ravens passing attack to start being elite as it needs to be because they've tried, you know, the running method where we're going to be just a run-heavy offense. I mean, folks, they had 3,000 rushing yards total last season. That was most by far last season, and it still just unfortunately does not get it done. They lose to the Buffalo in the second round of the playoffs. Uh, Lamar Jackson throwing a pick six on the goal line truly doesn't help that case either unfortunately um but we still need you know higher efficiency offense here with this Ravens team so we can start comparing truly the Ravens to the Chiefs because on paper they should be the exact same kind of offense but we can clearly see the drastic differences when we go and watch both the Ravens and the Chiefs so we need Rashad Bateman out there, but we said this week that he got into a little bit of an injury, and just every day it's it's seeming to be worse and worse and worse and worse, and now we are getting this, that Ravens rookie wide receiver Rashad Bateman is going to have a, have surgery to repair a little bit of a tear in his groin, and he's expected to return in September. So first we heard John Harbaugh say it was like one to two weeks, nothing major, and then it was John Harbaugh saying he's going to be good good before week one and now we're just getting expected sometime in September and folks game start early in September September 9th I believe is the first day of the NFL season the Thursday September 12th is the first Sunday officially of everybody kind of kick kicking off but I mean that's still early in September so we got this entire month window so expect Rashad Bateman to miss a couple of games here maybe one two potentially three four I wouldn't say any more than four I would probably say one to two. But that's still not kind of, you know, what we're looking for. We need this Ravens team to kind of immediately set the tone and get it done, start to finish. So, once again, Lamar Jackson can kind of play free and not have this nagging, garbage, disrespectful narrative that he's just a running back. And then it just hurts your overall wide receiver core because we know this man is number three on the list. Marquise Brown's number one, Sammy Watkins number two, and then Rashad Bateman number three. So, we're hoping for a speedy recovery here for the Ravens rookie wide receiver so this Ravens team can get off to a good start. Let me bump this story up a little bit. Um, let me find where it is. Where is it? I want to bump this story up a couple. Right here. Okay. So as we're talking about the Ravens wide receiver, you know, now it's putting more, even more pressure on Sammy Watkins. And we haven't really totally been buying into Sammy Watkins this offseason. It, it's, you know, we, we, we want to see. We, we know what he can do. We know what Sammy Watkins can do. Those first two years of his career were real solid. And then I don't know what happened. The man kind of beefed up a little bit and not in the good beef, the muscle beef, the little bit of a chubby beef. <laughs> a little bit. Um, so we were... We weren't really buying into Sammy Watkins this offseason, but but we're just getting this now, and this is what we want to hear from the man. So now is truly the time that Sammy Watkins must step up 100% because now he's really the only deep ball option for maybe the first three weeks of the season with Rashad Bateman being out for the first couple of weeks of September. So let's read this because now we could potentially start buying big into Sammy Watkins. So Sammy Watkins, he's 28. He feels like he's 19 in Baltimore. He eyes a thousand yard season saying, quote, another Super Bowl as well. So this is fantastic. This is what we want Sammy Watkins to do to get back to that, you know, vintage Sammy Watkins of a thousand yards. We can quickly uh, bring up his stats very quickly again. 
We just looked at him the other day, but he's only had 1,000 yard receiving season in his career, and that was year two. And he also had 62% catch percentage with that and nine touchdowns. Nine touchdowns. That's what we want to see. Prime Buffalo Sammy Watkins right out of college. That was his best kind of year. Year two, 2015, folks. It was freaking six years ago. Uh, so we haven't really gotten anything good, but if he can return to this, folks, this Ravens team can truly start putting themselves on the map of legit AFC contenders coming out of the AFC to win the Super Bowl. And like we've been saying, this AFC is just getting more tough and more tough and more tough. It's Chiefs. It's Ravens. It's Bills. It's Browns now even. It's the Colts, potentially the Chargers because we expect Justin Herbert to be good. It's the Steelers in their own division because of Big Ben and that amazing offense and even Najee Harris. It's potentially the Dolphins if their defense and Tua is panning out year two. It's the Patriots. You can never count them out. It's Billy B. You still got to give him his respect. So, I mean, we're talking nine, ten. Can we find a tenth team? I think we just rattled off nine. Let me do a nice even round ten. Oh, the Titans. How do we forget about the gosh dang titans it's Derek mother love and henry folks so we're talking about 10 10 10 gosh dang teams here in the afc that and can we talk about the raiders potentially i mean there is great potential there so the afc could truly be a big old gauntlet to run through to try and make your way to participate we're not even talking about winning the super bowl we're just trying to say participation come super bowl sunday so the Ravens are really going to have to get their shit together, even in their own division, folks. I mean, we're talking about three teams deep just last season in the AFC North. Steelers being uh, winning the division at 12-4, and four, Ravens being 11-5, and five, and even the Browns being 11-5. and five. So not only do you have to be good in your division, but now once you get out of your division, we're talking about everybody else in the AFC. So we need Sammy Watkins to truly back up what he's saying here and truly commit on the field and be that great wide receiver that we know he can be. And hopefully this Rashad Bateman being injured isn't going to hurt him too much. And he can still be very, very productive because he's kind of wide receiver number one out here. Yes, we like Marquise Brown, but he's a little smaller. He's fast, and that's the best thing we love about him. But he's still a little bit smaller, and you know, him being on the deep ball isn't his forte. And that's where Sammy Watkins comes in. So let's read some of these quotes here and truly, you know, see what he's meaning here when he's feeling young and all that. So here we go, Sammy Watkins. <clears throat> Quote. Honestly, I'm 28, but I feel like I'm 19. I'm trying to stay young, trying to do what the young guys are doing, doing extra work. Fantastic. Love that. Trying to just, you know, be that man again. Return to prime Sammy Watkins form, and we truly need to see that. What else do we get here? We get another quote. All right, uh, Watkins entering a passing game that pales in comparison to the Chiefs and Rams offense he was featured in the past four seasons. Quote, it's not about reviving my career. It kind of is. Uh, reviving your number one career. Yeah, you know, you were kind of the number two option there with the Chiefs the last couple of seasons. How many seasons did he play for the Chiefs? Uh, the last four seasons, uh, last three seasons, excuse me. Uh, so he's got the ring with the Chiefs, fantastic, and he was always kind of the number two option. He, you know, we like Tyreek Hill because he goes up, even though he's 5'10", he plays like he's 6'4", we love it, and that's what we need Sammy Watkins to do. And Sammy Watkins was honestly kind of the third target out there because we all know Travis Mother, Love, and Kelsey on the team, even though he's a tight end. So it is kind of a little bit of reviving your number one kind of wide receiver on a team career. Uh, but let's finish up this quote here. Quote, it's not about reviving my career. I been to two Super Bowls. I did some great things in this league. Now it's like, what do I want out of the time being here? I want to win another Super Bowl. I want to go to the Pro Bowl. I want to have a 1,000-yard season. So it's many other things that I'm focused on this year. I think I can accomplish these goals here and have fun doing it. So that is absolutely great. He's striving for greatness here. He's striving for the Super Bowl, obviously. But he's also striving for the Pro Bowl. He wants to be 
one of the kind of top elite wide receivers in this league and that thousand yard mark we kind of you know that's a benchmark folks a thousand yards for wide receivers even running backs that's what we need to see you to do to have us buy into you to have us you know think that your team can win games consistently on a consistent basis and not you know a win week one and then a we another win week eight and you know you finish the season four and 13 now that's not what we want to see we want to see greatness every single game week in and week out uh what is sammy watkins doing the super bowl let's get that up was he productive in the super bowl He's been to two Super Bowls. Was it once with the? He's been to two with the Chiefs. Uh, the first Chiefs Super Bowl in 2019. He had whoa, pretty solid. Five of six, so five uh, receptions on six targets for 98 yards, no touchdowns. But I mean, that's real gosh dang good to have 98 yards in the Super Bowl. And he also was kind of getting it done in the postseason in that 2019 run. The first game where they put up 51 points against Houston. He went two of two for only 76 yards no touchdown but I mean 76 yards that's a you know real great chunk it only came on two passes but then in game number two against the Titans seven of ten for 114 yards and a touchdown so he truly was getting it done there for the Chiefs first Super Bowl and then last season when they went back to the Super Bowl he didn't play in the playoff game against Cleveland he didn't play in the playoff game against Buffalo he did play in the Super Bowl but one of one for 13 yards so really not that productive but I will give him credit for that 2019 Super Bowl run he was getting solid burn out there I um, mean kind of doing his thing so we'll give him credit for that all right so Sammy Watkins love that he's kind of um, you know expecting a lot out of him striving for you know more than just what did he have last season like 400 yards last season <clears throat> yeah 421 yards uh, that's the lowest in his career the lowest in his career was 421, and that was last season. Granted, he only played nine games, but once again, the health is another aspect that we really need to see Sammy Watkins deal with. So, how is it overall looking here for the Ravens? Well, we need Rashad Bateman, but we believe in Sammy Watkins to kind of fill the first two weeks to really get great production until Rashad Bateman can come back, and then it's kind of full throttle, full send with this Ravens team to try and get to that Super Bowl that has kind of eluded them the past couple of seasons because of the Chiefs and the Titans and all that, the other great teams in the AFC that we've mentioned. So, come on, Sammy Watkins. We're rooting for you. And maybe, maybe, maybe if Sammy Watkins does good this season, maybe we get this man on the canvas behind us midway this season, next season. We'll see. Sammy. If you're eyeing the wall, if you're eyeing these kind of high-achieving things, Pro Bowl, 1,000-yard season, why don't you try to strive for a canvas? Because there's only three spots on this wall, folks. Can't fit any more. I would love it. I mean, I would have this wall filled up if I could, but we can only really fit three. So, highly coveted spots up here. Sammy, if you want one, go out and earn it, and we'll give you the place on the wall. So, keep that in mind, Sammy. <laughs> have that fuel your fire a little bit more. <laughs> All right. 